Hello, hello, it is that time. It is your illustrious, beautifully voiced, lovely, high and tragic, can't talk host, Dragon's Fury and Infernal. What? Uh, so, good news, bad news for you lovely listeners. Um, good news, we're making great headway. Um, we have a bunch of people listening. We've broke the next set of tens of plays so awesome um, we have our impressions are going up we have more audience members so love you guys you I need find to start interesting following. That's my impressions yeah um i but you, you you need to follow so you know what's going on um and all of our various people who are throughout the many regions that we have again thank you for coming so the bad news is is that we are going to be going on a hiatus, um, mainly because I am moving in a couple weeks, and I have a lot of shit. It secondly, gets old so um, secondly, I'm running out of ideas that have very uh, elaborate playthrough. I have many ideas, but a lot of them aren't thought through. Um, so I want to take some time to really develop those out and then turn those into episodes because that's the whole point of things to actually be in depth. We want to make sure fun. we are giving quality content. And quality content, yes. Um, though um, for our people who are subscribing and or will be subscribing during the hiatus, you will have access to everything prior up to that point no new episodes will be coming but there still will be new content because again we will still exist um so we'll still have everything that's happening in the discord anyway so you'll still have access to us we'll still you still hang out with us still play games with us you still have all the fun stuff it just want to be more episodes um so don't feel like you're getting gypped for your support in that front you'll just have other options to work off of um and you can really benefit from those uh, one-on-ones if you so choose so that being said we're going to end season two with a bang and it's going to be rankings of villains starting with zuko whining because maybe mermaid's home but i don't think she is so well i mean if we're gonna talk about zuko i mean how would you rank zuko as a villain or better yet fire lord ozai um okay We'll start. We'll start with his daddy because I wouldn't say Zuko per se. Bubby boy, what's wrong? Um, that he was necessarily a villain. He was definitely an antagonist for a fact, but other than that, he wasn't a villain. Now Ozai, yeah, Ozai was a whole ass villain. I would put okay. So backtrack. We need to set the tier list of what we're gonna do. We're gonna do okay. it be- like we do League because games um so it's going to be s is number one we're not going to do the intermediate stuff and d is for dirt trash um so dirt trash dirt trash so i'm going to put ozi ozai (laughs) ozai (laughs) ozai um i'm gonna put ozai at um i'm giving him a a a tier a tier yeah I'm, I'm putting him at A tier. And I say A tier because he had a solid, solid, like, plan of execution of what he wanted to go for, like, his goals and that front. Uh, very, you know, very heavy handed and, you know, solid in his determination. His introduction was great. His introduction was great, yeah. Overall, it wasn't really anything like exceptionally evil like very run-of-the-mill dictator ish i feel like i deserve these kind of things level so that's why i didn't put him in s um difficult combat fight um they he didn't just roll over and die kind of deal like there was a lot leading up to his con his ultimate confrontation and a downfall yeah, and like one thing I liked about Ozai just in the series in general was just like we didn't really see him until like what like the end of book two, book, book three. I, I forget how many books there were. Were there three? Were there three seasons? Uh, it was three. So water, I, four, four books. Uh, it was all the elements. 
I, I forget. Yeah, I forget if they. No, I think they only did three <laughs> books, but it was spread out between multiple seasons. Because I think Fire was the final book, and then it went to Air for Korra. So, because I don't think we saw Ozai until like the end of uh, book two, if I remember right. Because like they pretty much like were hinting at like this guy and just, like how fearsome he was, and once you finally saw him and what he does, it's like goddamn. Yeah, just sitting in a room and behind a wall of fire, just breathing it and just yeah, it's it just his emotion. Like it's like, uh, dude, dude chill. Um, yeah, no. So that that's where I I put him on that. Now, if we want to do a what if series segment of this going at the same time, um, if Zuko went to villain level and actually followed in the path that he would have went instead of ending up with Iroh I I, I want to say B B tier I, yeah because I, Azula's I, 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 worse yeah Azula, Azula was yes if Azula had her way S she would have wiped the world apart like, she would have found, like, every... Because she was, like, doing, like, what Team Avatar was doing in gathering other members of, you know, the elements, if you will, but, like, other styles to complete what she needed to, like, fill in those gaps in, like, her combat. Because it's not like she couldn't just take anybody and everybody, but also she understood that I'm not everything. Like, I don't possess everything. So, you know, she brought, uh, what, Mei Ling and Tai Li? Yeah. Um, in, so you have, you know, you're like your reconnaissance assassin type with your m- medical kind of immobilization. You can get, get information out of what you want infiltration style, like, right? Because, you know, they. She's here to stab you. And, like, she's here to stab you, and she's here to make you, like, ineffective. Like, very counter combat. Um, so, in that case, yeah, she would be S. I would put Zuko at B. Because even though he wanted the respect of Ozai and everything along with that, he still had that level of, I guess, humanity that yeah. would have kept him from doing certain things things mainly because of his mama because yeah. i do feel like he would have found out the truth which we get in the comics if you don't know go go read that or well comic well, the books um go go read what happened well i mean the, i mean there were comics oh uh, well yeah the comics yeah were they comics yeah they were comics yeah there were comics and books books and the the canon material <laughs> of what happened to his mom um i feel like that would have played played a role in his overthrowing of his dad and with azula's help because azula would have been totally like yeah let's just kick old man dad out the way um just for the shits and giggles um but also she would be like kind of in that back line i'm i'm going to run things because you're incapable of it, but I'm going to do it under the guise of being, like, your sister who cares about you, knowing damn well that that's not true. But he couldn't really <laughs> confront her on that because... Yeah, no, knowing damn well, her. she'll take over the moment she gets the chance. <sighs> right. But, like, also, she... But she would still use him as a tool, and he really couldn't do anything about it because we know... Basically, she false was the top, order. Yeah. She was the stronger one. Um, and without the you know, that mental breakdown of her, you know, in her, you know, her illusion of her mother, he's not, he's not beating her. Because that's the, that's the whole reason why he was able to beat her, was because she literally wasn't herself anymore. And it, it's verbalized, so this is not just me pulling this out of my ass. He literally says, something's off. Like, (laughs) um. Yeah, she was, uh, not in the right headspace. Um. So, you know, that being that being said, it's like, okay, yeah, she wouldn't really, like, uh, need to do anything outside of what she was already doing because, like I said, he couldn't, he couldn't step to her. Um, so, that. So, let's see, who's another, 
Who's another big one? Oh, um, da ba da ba da ba da. Da ba da ba da ba da. So what about Eisen? Where would you rank him? Oh, Eisen. Honestly, like I feel like I'd have to put him at easily S tier. Yeah. To, yeah, cause like I feel like if you put, try putting him anywhere lower, uh, you'll find out you are in a perfect hypnosis and you're doing it wrong. And you're doing it all wrong. It's all your fault. Um, yeah. Like, he... the, like just his character overall, like the way they they wrote him, like, like the way he acted, the way he formulated plans, made plans on plans, threw out plans, made new plans. Yeah, threw it's, out plans, made new plans, use these plans that um. It's I, like just S tier because like, of his influence. He yes. literally, for all intents and purposes, he's the reason why the show even ha exists. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yes, we could have story from other characters, but like the whole thing of like. It, Ichigo would not have happened. Well, yeah, Ichigo not happening, but like the whole thing with. But, but even before, like even not even like even taking him out of the equation the whole thing with his dad and his mom still would have happened like you still would have had you know her dying because of that well she died because of white which was eisen's creation no she died because well the her whole you powers got turned yeah well her yeah powers got but, turned off yeah but the reason why you shouldn't even stayed with uh the mom was because of the hollow well not that's what i'm saying but like that whole process would still have happened she would have still encountered yeah. the hollow no matter what it's hello so, white so it was like white was still having that would have been passed on those experiments still would have been going on he <laughs> shit he would have gotten way further along in his process yeah. um and but I feel like he needed that though. He needed he still needed Ichio to be a thing, and he basically perpetuated that, even though he didn't. We, you know, plans on plans. Throw out the plan, made new plans. It is my original plan. That was the plan. Um, the if that was my plan, that, hey, you were wrong. <laughs> the the blatantness. He wasn't hiding it. He told everybody in their mama, "This is what I'm doing." You either are on board or not. Those who are on board, Kaname, Gein, others. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Anyone who cared to listen. And then you have, you know, the ones who went against him. Uh, was it... Sun what's the yellow-haired fuckface? Is uh, The lieutenant? No, the 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 former captain. Oh, hollow. Um, then captain again. Oh, Shinji. Sin there we go. I knew it was an S. Um, he stepped to him, and he was like, "Oh, okay." And then he's like the first one to get murked <laughs> with the. <laughs> right. He's the first one to get targeted. Um, and then you know the whole the whole visored thing, um. The. The ingenuity of just being still enacting your plans, them knowing about it and couldn't do shit about it. Like you you were out there and then to push put literally push beyond the realm of possibility of power. To the point that you literally the only way you get taken down is by going even further of a level in power that made even further beyond beyond <laughs> buzz is like i didn't know you went that far <laughs> mm. i was like i understand i said infinity and beyond but damn <laughs> how far can it go um and then also even even in defeat he still is fucking shit up like, yep, he, he's just chilling in a chair. Yeah, he's just chilling in a chair. Still causing problems. Like, like what? Do you know, do you understand how potent of a like powerful and like villain mindset you have to be 
to square up with basically the god of a whole, like, faction of people. To just look them dead in the face and be like, sup, bitch. <laughs> Welcome to my soul society. <laughs> yeah, like, what's up? Um, also, I, I may be in this chair, but you still ain't got free reign, my dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like, honestly, that, that, when they show that even though Aizen is sealed and in a chair, he could still use his powers to affect Yuhaba. It's just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, yeah, Aizen, like, yeah, no, you cannot keep the, the man down. Yep, no, at S tier 4. Sure. Now, that being said, who do you believe would be another S-tier contender? Ooh. Hmm. Ooh, I, I had to think about that one. Like... I'm the... Oh, God, I'm the... The... Hmm. What? What? Would I throw him into that category? The person I'm thinking of right now, uh, there's two specifically, uh, Frieza and then Cell. Thinking of them. Okay. Let's see what I'm trying to... What's their argument? What is their opening statements for the Council of S tier? <laughs> well, specifically with Frieza, it's like he... Like, what was it? Like, he took control over, like, half a gal galaxy without doing any kind of training. Ob obviously, we've seen him lose a couple times to Goku, obviously. But it's like, after he trains for... Not, he, actually, yeah, like, he... <laughs> you know what Dragon Ball, how they have the hyperbolic time chamber? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, Frieza finds a similar area trains in there and proceeds to body both of the goku and vegeta's strongest forms with a single punch yes um there and there's the, not much and, convincing needed for frieza to be s tier yeah. <laughs> like he's literally just like it's like i could kill you if i want to um not nah, i'll let you live it's like it's bam. see now that if we were doing the intermediate ones like, Aizen would obviously be S+. Plus. Yeah. Um, I would put Frieza at S-. minus. Like, b below Aizen, obviously. Well, yeah, everyone's below. Like I said, we're it's <laughs> going to take some time to find someone that we think that is Aizen level, right? Yeah, it's but... like, it, it is hard. I, I can't think of any, like, current or old villains that can really top, like, how Aizen was written. Um... um I'm trying to think of but like with Frieza, that main that main plot armor blockade, right? Because like yeah. Aizen, he broke through all plot <laughs> armor. He stopped the theme song. He stopped the theme song, man. <laughs> so like, yeah, he like he had you, so you know much plot up. armor to get through, and he was able to get through it reasonably, right? It wasn't some bullshit way of like oh you just happen to have this thing or whatever no it was always incremental everything was leading up to the next level of whatever was happening that that was that right mm. frieza never got through the goku's bullshit always wins plot armor yeah so um that's why i would put him at s minus because he un unfortunately he can't get through that because the the plot armor of Go goku's bullshit will always triumph for stupid reasons it literally is like hey i believe hard enough and there we go or hey you you're not accustomed to your new form yet and so i can beat you and it's like cool but you still got fucking rocked yeah <laughs> yeah like it was still like because like the, um, that one was more Frieza's like hubris like, like hey I'm golden I'm gonna go fight now it's like 
Uh, it's like, right? wait, wait a moment. But like, again, but that's still, I would still classify that as Goku's bullshit because there's yeah. no other person that he saw or ever came in encounter with that would cause him to be like, I've reached this new power. I need to go prove it to this person, right? Yeah. It Yes, it's his hubris because he's like, yeah, I'm the shit. But, like, he has receipts. He is the shit. But mm -hmm. Goku's existence alone pisses this man off to a level that causes him to throw life and, you know, rationale to the wind, which is bullshit. Because you got Vegeta existing. Like, no one hates Goku more than Vegeta, and Vegeta gets the biggest short straw draw of life and it's just not fair to him he should be a whole ass villain still <laughs> yeah nah bulma put him in his place yeah, bulma i think with <laughs> enough like if vegeta actually treated bulma with like the same level of respect but like in the still as if he was the prince she would fall in line. She would still. She would fold. She would fold hardcore. Because Bulma, unfortunately, is still out for herself. Everything she's done has been for the betterment of other people, but as as a side effect, she's still looking out for herself. She was like, "Oh, they said I couldn't do it, so I did." Oh, yeah. you you know you thought I wasn't going to be able to do this, so I did. Right? There was. There's not a, oh, I'm doing this because, oh, we need these kinds of things. No, I want that bag. I want to prove everyone wrong about what they generally think. So if you give her to someone like Vegeta, who in, you know, how the regular, like who like, you know, saying women are still treated, she, it's not like she would have been treated badly, but she would have been... I wouldn't Sans, say Sans like the strong woman. Well, yeah, but I wouldn't say force, but like she would have had to come to terms that like this is who he is, and out of a little bit out of survival because he totally would have blown up Earth. Um, would have been like, yo, that's my man's. Just in general, like I still think she would have been attracted to Vegeta if she didn't have the cheat code that she was gonna have his kid. Like, <laughs> like, I still think that that still would have gravitated. Like, he, yes, would have probably, like, softened up a little bit because he was like, I, res I still respect this woman as a strong woman, like, even if she's not a Saiyan. Um, and would have basically kind of, like, taken her as a prize, almost. And she mm -hmm. would have been, like, mildly okay with it because I don't think he would have taken anything from her. If anything, she would have had even more resources at her disposal to create even, like greater technology which she would have been all for um yeah i mean hell she re recreated the sans armor just by getting little getting pieces of it right now imagine if she just had the regular stuff just on deck right it i don't need even to recreate it i can just improve it like i was like there's so <laughs> I, so much I mean, to be fair, like, we're talking about a woman who made a time machine. Yeah, no, I, I understand. I'm not saying she's any less than what she is. She's the ultimate woman, <laughs> and she literally is the only person to be Vegeta's wife. I'm just yeah, saying I'll she wouldn't face, side it, with it, Earth it, the whole time. Oh, yeah, well, I was about to say, funny enough that you mentioned that. It's like, like give her a reason, like, she would become a full of villains. Yeah, like, give her enough of a reason. She's like, she'll blow up Earth, too. Like... <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah. You called her old. Like, yeah, you called her old. Uh, bye. Okay, Ooh, whatever. Also, she cooked a god of destruction into submission. Yeah. If that's uh, not so villainry fun. witchcraft, I don't know what is. I still find that hilarious. Um, in regards to Cell, A at best. I'll take that. Um,. Like, Cell's a, an enjoyable villain. Yeah, great, yeah, great story, great concept, you know, adaptability, plans, whatever. But it was completely hinged on absorbing the, the other androids. Sorry. 
that that's your big that's your big drawback like you are completely contingent on achieving your you know final form be by absorbing other people <laughs> um two of which sidebar boo a plus. oh um i'm not putting like, it in well, s well, because there's which boo any of them okay well mm, i feel like i feel like you have to count them differently because like fat boo like i feel like I don't know. I feel like this is gonna sound me. I'll, I'll put Fat Boo at like C tier. That's fine. Like I, uh, I could yeah. Like I can uh, see why you would put him in C. I just uh, think if Hercule didn't mm. exist, like that's why. Like I'm taking Hercule out of the the that one thing of him just. Being well, like, even hey, even this is the one person I like. Well, no. Even if you took um, Hercule out, it's like Fat Boo was really just a literally a kid in a candy store. Um. Which is terrible. Well, yeah, but then you think about Kid Boo and Super Boo. Well, see, Liter like literally, with Kid, Kid Boo, it's just pure destruction. And like, oh hey, look, there's a thing. We're, we're, we're talking about an entity that, for most intents and purposes, murdered the universe, found out where they went after they died, went to the afterlife, and it's like, hey, I'm here to kill you again. Right. But there was no purpose behind it. Yeah, does, if it was does, Super Boo that did Garnet. that, then yeah, S tier all the way because that that has the mental capacity of you know of a thought being past just pure destruction. It's a oh, you are still like you can still be a threat to me. Quote, I use that very loosely. Mm hmm. You can still be a threat to me. I have, I have the cognizant way of ascertaining your location of where you went afterwards versus just instinct of just sensing because he just sensed it. The like kid boo was just like, "Wait a minute, my spidey yep. senses are tingling." There was and, no, there was no and, thought. And basically, to it. learn instant transmission just by seeing Goku use it like once. Right. It was. It's because it's just fully and only really just instinctual combat and just impulse i can't really give it higher because there's no there's no higher intelligence on it it's like yeah. you know it's like looking at like you know prime apes or like dolphins or whatever. yes they're smart up to a certain point like you have to cut cap it off because there's that's it um so like super boo i again i just feel like they didn't it was very run-of-the-mill like it was like, still. So would you put Subaru and Kid Buu like B, like B tier? Because like I I feel like they wouldn't really be around uh, Fat Boo. Okay, well if that's the case, then I would put Boo C, Super at B, and Kid at A. Okay. Well, all right. I, I, I because again, that. yeah, he did wipe out one location <laughs> and then go and find you and wipe out that location yeah that's gonna give you higher than you know just giving everyone a fade on a regular like, basis literally instant transmissions to the afterlife just to kill people again yeah, it's just dude. like like hey if you're not you're anime dead you're dead dead um, yeah it's like remember me so so yeah um uh he, like he's tet i mean he's well, technically he's not a villain but in some eyes he is honest <laughs> Arno's Voldy Gold. Yeah, okay, yeah, but that's depending on who you ask. <laughs> ask humans. Again, it's still yeah, who know. you ask. <laughs> that one's very... That's like him and Ainz. Yeah, oh, well, Ainz is a villain. <laughs> well, Ainz is a villain by proxy. Because it's... Me, me and my co-worker were talking about this, that... The stuff that Ainz does isn't for the sake of villainry. It's for yeah, the sake for of... People. Yeah, it's, so it's us versus them. And unfortunately, thems can't do shit to us. So it's just a bloodbath massacre. Um, and of course, yeah, you're going to view, view that person as a villain. But like, 
he's not doing he's not doing it for the sake of being a villain he's doing it for the sake of one still trying to find out if there's anybody else like him around which there is and ascertaining like what the heck's going on he's still trying to figure out what the heck's going on and in that process he's stumbling into other organizations of criminal activity and just saying well you got a nice thing going here i'm gonna take it you don't need it um and you can't stop me like he's he's more of a bully than anything Mm -hmm. but like if we had to put him on the list i would put him at maybe like a b plus because again there's no real intention but he does have the uh adaptability and like the kind of go not really go with the flow but able to really like think on his feet because he has no idea what the fuck he's doing but yeah. he's still able to keep up that facade that he does for the outside world even though everyone on the inside of Nazareth knows he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing but they re- they it's blind loyalty and so but also like you know when you know he's your creator you kind of don't have that whole problem of like is he is or is he ain't kind of deal like no they are well aware that he is one of the people that created every motherfucker that's walking around in here it's very easy to devote yourself to the physical sight and touch of your god (laughs) Uh. take that religion um but with that being said um we will do the part two to this episode for the subscriber one when for us when we record tomorrow it will be just the subscriber part for everyone else that sees it posted so if you want to hear the rest of our tier list go subscribe catch up on the other subscriber stuff yeah where you'll be able to hear dragon's uh thoughts on s death oh baby um (laughs) so if you want to know uh about that uh subscribe support us in that front you get all of the bonus episodes that we've not even bonus just the extra episodes that we've done up to this point the discord the episode that we did at the con the pictures from the con uh one-on-ones that we do here so again it's just a hiatus we're not going to be gone for too long it's going to be like a couple weeks so don't miss us too bad um yeah, mo- again, moves are a bitch thank you for your support up to this point and all in the future we'll see you next time stay hydrated Stay hydrated and see you all next time.